we are doing well. We continue to deliver airplanes. In fact, if you look at the wide body market in India, which is dominated by the 777s and 787s, there's a ball Boeing airplanes. The 787 Dreamliner, which is the airplane, state-of-the-art airplane today, Air India is operating it. Jet Airways will soon add that to its fleet. Uh, the triple sevens are already flying with both Air India and Jet Airways. And we continue, as I showed you, the backlog of the 737 is there, triple seven backlog is there, and all our models are doing extremely well in India, and I don't think there is any doubt as to we are doing well in Indian market. We are not pleased with the performance, okay, and we'll continue to work with Air India. We're doing that regularly. Our teams are in constant touch with uh, top management at Air India and working level engineers who are you know, working as AMEs with the Air India every day. And that's how we do things. The important thing is, yes, incidents have happened. What has Boeing done about it? We have immediately come to the table, sometimes before even we detect or Air India detects what's going on. And after that, we expeditiously work and try to resolve the problem and get the airplane back in the air. A case in point, the issue about the panel falling off, that airplane was back in the service the same day, okay? So that shows how closely we work with the airline, how quickly we come to the table and solve the issues for our customers, because we know that's the key reason why they bought our airplane, okay? And what you also need to know is Air India has been flying these airplanes for over a year now, and you're talking about three incidents. Nine airplanes flying for all these years, I'm not proud of the three incidents, but clearly it has a good track record and Air India has publicly stated that their profitability on many routes has improved and the routes where they were not making money earlier are now able to make money with the Dreamliner. All positive things, that's what we thought of when we built the Dreamliner and it's everything we said and we are glad that Air India is testifying that that is the case. No, it's not a bad product for India. India went through a huge fuel price increase compared to when these airplanes were bought. Uh, to make very clear for your viewers, it's only the 777-200 LRs that Air India is selling, not the 300 ERs. They are operating them very well, regularly, and Jet Airways is operating 777-300 ER to London from day one, and is their bread and butter route, which is making money for them and have a good market share. So clearly it's not, uh, I mean, it is the right airplane for Air India and for Jet Airways, and Jet Airways is actually bringing back more planes, and in fact, I'm flying tonight to Hong Kong on Jet Airways on the 777-300ER, and clearly they are adding more routes, and they will be looking at more as they tie up with Etihad matures. Absolutely, no question. We haven't revised our forecast, but we have standing by our forecast, which is 1,450 airplanes, 175 billion for the next 20 years. And uh, as I said, this is a cyclical thing. And uh, we've been watching this market. I personally have been working 25 years, and we have seen a few ups and downs. And we will recover from this just like everything else, because this is the market which is going to grow, has 1.2 billion people, a large middle class with large discretionary income and business is going to grow here, no question about that. Obviously, we would like to work with all airlines in the world, and we are working with every airline that there is as Tata Singapore gets ready for its operation and its decision-making process. We certainly want to be given a chance, and we'll work with them. Uh, the positive thing for Boeing is that we know Singapore Airlines well because we had a competition there last year with Silk Air where A320s are incumbent and we had 737NG and a MAX combination for their future needs. And as I showed in my presentation, we clearly feel that MAX is a better airplane for uh, you know, all airlines in the world. And you know, we sold 1,600 of them. And because they switched from Airbus to Boeing, I think we are hopeful that they will select us and have the synergy across their ventures, both with Tata Singapore and their own Silk Air.